Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, thank you for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Triptych Brewing. Uh, these guys are up in Illinois. This was sent to me by Steve. Uh, he sent me a, a bunch of uh, their beers. Uh, and uh, I've been, eh, I'm on the fence with some of their stuff. Uh, uh, they are doing unfiltered beers, but the last one had a ton, I mean a half inch of sediment in the bottom of it the time I got to the back, bottom end of the glass. Uh, there are a lot of breweries that can do New England style beers, IPAs, double IPAs, or what have you, pale ales, that don't have that ton of sediment in the bottom of the uh, there. So I think they're on to something, but uh, I, the sediment is definitely off-putting. No, it's not going to hurt you, but uh, I don't want to see it. Uh, I don't want to see it. I mean, if I'm drinking a wheat beer or half a bison or something, uh, I expect a little of that. But a uh, New England style beer, I do not. Uh, but anyway, let's see what this one brings to the table. I'm hoping it's not going to have a half inch of sediment in the bottom of it. And if it's cloudy like orange juice where you can't see it, maybe that would be a good thing where you couldn't see that sediment in the bottom of it. But if it's not the orange juice color and it's uh, got it where I can see all that settling into the bottom of the can, or I mean, or in the bottom of the glass, it's just very off-putting to see all that junk in the trunk in the bottom of there. And that's another reason why the alchemists on their heady topper and some of their other ones, they tell you to drink it from the can because they don't want you to see that stuff in the bottom of your glass. So. Uh, Maybe this will be another one there to put, drink it from the can, because I don't want you to see that either. So, let's see. This is their Wake Up Neo, and it is an Imperial, uh, or double IPA. And my information tells me that it's an 8.2 percenter. And the letter I've got here, the note from uh, Steve says, Wake Up Neo is a double American IPA. The hops in this one are Citra, Mosaic, and Coconut. The ABV is 8.20, and a four-pack of this goes for $12.99. Not too awful bad for 16 ounce cans. So, uh, I'm hoping that if it's got a bunch of junk in it, that it's a real thick orange juice color where I can't see it. So, let's see what it brings to the table. The commercial description on Untapped says New England style double IPA. So, let's jump over here and get this thing down. Pop the top on this thing. And get it into the glass and see what we end up with here, guys. All right. Looks like orange juice coming out. I will tell you why I'm pointing this. Cuisine is barbecue, cheese of peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar. Your stronger cheeses. Uh, the meat is game, grilled meat, and salmon. The glass bar is snipped or tulip oversized wine glass. And, of course, beer advocate says you can sell it because it's over 8%. Don't sell on this beer, guys. And on the bottom, it does have a canned on date. Guys, that looks pretty close to orange juice there, guys. It really, really does. But I haven't got the back end pour in there yet. Uh, this is 0413 of 18. And Best Buy 07 of 18. 4, 5, 6, 7. So they're giving it a three-month shelf life. I agree with that 100% here, guys. And um, we will get to back in pouring that for a go off camera. Uh, a great looking beer. It's not super bright orange color, but it's pretty damn close. I would definitely consider looking at this beer even before I get to back in pouring there that it is a New England style IPA. It looks a lot like orange juice. I mean, pretty damn close. 
I will, I'll just will go ahead and say it looks like orange juice in the glass, guys. And I haven't even got the back end pour in there. So let's get it to the nose. It didn't pour a very big head. Very citrusy. I've got a lot of grapefruit and oranges and pineapple. A lot of tropical fruit notes, mango. It's got a nice sweetness. It smells awesome, guys. It really, really does. Maybe even some lighter fruit in there. Maybe some peaches or apricots. It's, it, the aroma is outstanding. It really is. I'm very impressed with the aroma on this. And I'm fairly impressed with what I'm looking at right now. So, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Steve. Thank you. Very, very tasty. Alcohol is very well hidden. This is a well-made beer, guys. But, but, and everybody knows about the butts. We haven't got the back end on there yet, so. And I will be able to figure that out. Once I get that in there and go sip on it for a while, we'll see how much sediment is in the bottom part of this glass. And I have heard that it does have some uh, floaties, junk in the trunk is what I call it. So, one more sip. Very, very tasty, guys. Well, we're going to we're gonna dump it in here. See what we get. See if I see anything heavy coming out of it. I didn't see any big chunks or anything coming out of it. So, pretty impressive right now, guys. But like I said, let me sip on this thing for a while and see what we end up with. Right now, I am very pleased and uh, very impressed. So, let me sip on it. Let her taste it. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I haven't noticed any sediment in this one. They nailed this one, guys. They nailed it down. Uh, looking at the bottom of it, I don't see anything that's settled in the bottom of it. It is a very nice example. And if it is any sediment in it, I do not see it. And if it is, it's so small or the beer is so cloudy that you don't see it. And that's what you need. If you're going to have sediment in your beer, make it an orange juice color and so cloudy you can't see it. That would be the hot tip there, guys. Because if you see that sediment in the bottom, like I did the last one we did from the, those, uh, this brewery, uh, it's very off-putting to see that kind of sediment in the bottom of the beer. And like I said, I know it's not going to hurt you, but it is, it's, to me, that's just my opinion, guys. There's other, there's other guys, oh, that ain't going to hurt you. Drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it. Uh, I just don't want to see a half inch of sediment in the bottom of my glass. I just don't want to see that, guys. But this one, uh, I heard that it did have uh, floaties or sediment in it. And uh, maybe that was the bottom of the uh, the tank that they were canning. Uh, I do not see it in this one. It looks absolutely awesome. It tastes absolutely awesome. Like I said, they nailed this. This is a perfect example of a New England style double IPA, guys. Very impressive. I would buy this beer if I could get it here. Got the date on the bottom of it when it was canned. It's got the best before date. They're giving it a three month shelf life. Uh, I didn't see the ABV. It says Wake Up Neo, a double American India pale ale. So I would like to see the ABV on the can. Uh, and the IBUs is not super critical. The New England style beers from all the breweries seem like they want to keep that information secret. So, but we do have canned on, best before, and this three month shelf life. So that's a two thumbs up for me on them for doing that. And this is a perfect example of a New England style double IPA. I enjoyed this. Like I said, I would buy this if I could give it here. Awesome beer, guys. Definitely pick it up if you can get your hands on it. Thanks a bunch, Steve. Final check. We're not going to leave this. And see, there's no sediment in this beer. There's no floaties or anything. There's a, the last little sip in there. And I see nothing in there. So, awesome. Very nicely done. Very impressive. More so than the last one that I did from these guys. So they nailed it on this one. They got this one figured out.
Uh, they need to do something about the last one we did. Uh, but this one, perfect. Perfect, guys. Uh, I would like to see the ABV. That's my only fuss about this. I want to know what I'm drinking when I pick it up or look at it before buying. Am I drinking a 6%, 7%, 8%, 9%, 10%? What am I buying? What you know? I don't want to have to get my phone out. They, they should be, uh, but this is a stick-on label. And hopefully, you know, they can put that information on there. Uh, maybe they're using the same label year after year after year after year, but I would like to see the ABV on it. And that's the, probably the reason I'm not going to give this beer a 10. Uh, if it had the ABV on there with the canned on date and the best before date, I would probably give this beer a 10, guys. I'm going to give it a 9. I'm going to give it a 98 for me, guys, on this one. Very, very tasty. Like I said, I would buy this beer if I could get it here. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 4.29 in their outstanding range. It is an outstanding beer, guys. It's very, very tasty. That's about where I'm putting it. That's almost to, that's their A category also. Uh, so over to Untapped. They have 4.22 also in their A category also, guys. It's an A beer. It definitely is. Uh, I just wish I could see an ABV on it. Everything else is on the can. The IBUs aren't that critical. I've already I've got accustomed uh, not getting that information on the New England style beers. So it is what it is. So if you've had this one from Tri Triptych Brewing, this is the Wake Up Neo, uh, their Imperial or Double IPA. Let me know what you think. I loved it. Very tasty. Thanks again, Steve. I do appreciate it, sir. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.